Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat, and today I'm playing the first five minutes of Fairy Solitaire. It's almost the first five minutes. It's actually going to be a couple hands in. Um, I did a recording of this earlier, and um, can't seem to reset it, but the recording ended up just being audio and not video. I was testing out a new uh, video adapter I had for my Surface Pro 2 that was taking it to a screen, and so I had it doubled so I can use the touch screen when I play Fairy Solitaire. Um, but see it on the big screen. Anyway, it didn't work out. But I'm still going to film these five minutes. They're not quite the first, but the game's pretty much the same throughout because Solitaire. And uh, yeah, I'm going to use my fingers like I am now to move this cursor around the screen. Um, it's very touchscreen friendly, which is pretty awesome. There aren't a whole lot of those for the Surface Pro 2. This one happens to be one. You will need a keyboard to put your name in at the beginning. As you can see, I called myself First 5 at the bottom down here. Ooh. Hey, I can create more people. Actually, let's do that, since you guys are watching. Um, maybe I can reset the old one? I can. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Alright, all fingers except for my keyboard here. Big blue. Do we have enough letters? We do. Great. So you will get to see the first five minutes. Okay, enough chatter. Let me get the timer set, and we will see the first five minutes. Actually, let's... Skip some talking. That night. Yep. Okay. Here we go. This is how you play. That's why you're watching the video. It's mostly like uh, most other solitaire, except as you can see, the top is different. And I'm not stacking cards up, I'm pulling them down. So, like and unlike all at the same time. But you play it by yourself, so I guess it's solitaire. Anyway, let's see what happens. Queen, king, queen. And I'm just tapping the cards and they spin down. So there's no drag, there's no anything else. I can like click and drag and um, feel how hot my computer is getting <laughs> and uh, see the mouse move around as well which is pretty great. Um, which comes in later because eventually you know there, you see the hover effect down here on the card stack. Um, that comes into play up top sometimes and later on you get like reveals on cards. But back to beating this level. Uh, five, seven, eight, seven, Eight, nine, yeah, there we go, nine, so you've probably played Solitaire before, it's pretty similar, um, just flipping cards and looking for matches, but you'll see up top there's a gold meter and an energy bar, um, you get stuff later on, because video game, and uh, that can help you uncover cards and, and get a sense I shouldn't have done that. So I'm going to use the undo button. Check that out. Three, two... I suppose when you play solitaire by yourself with card decks, you can cheat as well. This time... Ooh, we're getting a combo. This time it's built into the game. So, there you have it. A uh, four and a five. Ooh, and we filled up an energy bar. Right now it's unlock the help screen game, sort of. Uh, five, nine, in the combo, seven, nothing, ten, almost, jack, queen, nothing. I'd be ashamed to not beat this level <laughs> with everybody watching. Here we go, gold, yay. And you can spend the gold later in Fairyland, which I'll show you near the end here. Two, five, Queen. It actually feels really good to, to tap it versus using the mouse. I played it with a mouse, and it works fine, of course, but um, there's something nice about the the response of the tap. And apparently a friend of mine's playing Letter Quest. Let's see. No! No, we didn't beat the level! Oh, fail! Anyway, you keep going. You have level, of, level objectives that help you get bonus points. And, uh on and on, see? Level objectives. So sometimes you're beating time, sometimes you're raising cash, getting combos, or trying to get a perfect, and if you get enough perfect you unlock special stuff. And let's see if we can beat this level. It'd be a shame not to beat any of them, wouldn't it? Jack, nothing. King. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again. Two, three, two. See, that's a lot better this time. I'll regret it later, guaranteed. Here we go, king, nothing, ace, king, eight, seven, ooh, eight or six. Let's go eight. 
Should have gone six. <laughs> All right. See? What did I say? Here we go. Four, five, six, and maybe I should be playing letter quest. That'd be a better idea. Six. Mm, stuck again. I think I've just been dealt a bad hand. That's all it is. I'm usually a lot better at this game. <laughs> Depends on the day. Here we go. King, queen, jack. And... Nope, no ten. Alright, six. And as you get later in the game, you can buy all kinds of power-ups in Fairyland, which is super helpful. And apparently they're going to be making a sequel, which hopefully will fill up the rest of my screen, because I've got nice black borders on either side of the game, which you'll notice in the video, too. It doesn't quite run full screen, which is a little sad. Um, but it's close. It was probably made a while ago or something. Uh, four, three... But it's really a great game for uh, playing on the airplane, if you have, like, a Surface Pro 2. I've clocked some serious time on this, doing that. Not quite beat it yet, but because apparently I'm not any good. Good grief. <laughs> Two in a row. Alright. This time, if there's time. Okay, we've new thing, there are thorns, and there's a flower right there. And once you clear that stack to get the flower, it unlocks the thing with the thorns. But maybe we'll do that in another video because we're out of time. Let's go take a peek at Fairyland. Ta-da, Fairyland, you can buy stuff. We don't have anywhere close because I failed at both hands. But as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff. Most of it's starting at 10 or 15,000 gold coins, wampum, I don't know, whatever this game stuff is. Um, 10,000 for that one, the hourglass, which uh, helps you track pets. You get pets later on as well. And uh, there's lots more menus to look at. There's a go to pets section. You collect resources and can uh, do stuff with pets and hatch eggs, and it's a nice little addition to the dynamic. But eight pages of four pets each, so lots of pets, and you can see the stuff you can craft with, etc., etc. But that's enough Fairyland for today, and enough Fairy Solitaire. But look it up on Steam, it's a great game. It's often on sale if you want to wait, but I think it's worth the money, and I uh, hope you do too. Have a great gaming day. We'll see you guys.